my god, I can't believe I made this. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I design visual systems in my bullet journal. So if you're interested in ideas for unique bullet journal spreads for different areas of your life that are very functional, minimal, easy to set up yet still aesthetic, then make sure to subscribe. So for 2021, I decided to completely overhaul the way I have been bullet journaling for the past 5 years, which is mostly based off the traditional bullet journal system in which I would complete one notebook at a time throughout the whole year. And in this video, I will share with you my 10 reasons why I am actually creating and moving on to a new system, which is based off a traveler notebook style, while at the same time actually showing you the process of DIYing my new bullet journal from scratch. So one of the biggest reasons why I'm creating a new system is that the notebooks themselves can be quite expensive. I currently use Archer and Olive notebooks because of the quality of the paper and the overall product and I usually go through around 3 notebooks in one year. So that's almost $100 a year in notebooks alone. And because they are quite expensive, I feel really bad about wasting paper and consuming a lot of pages even though I would actually need to. And then the second reason is because my hardbound notebooks are quite thick, they actually take up a lot of space after I archive them. So we live in a small home with not a lot of storage space. And at the rate that I am going, I would probably need more shelving because yes, I would want to keep my bullet journals because they are basically a record of my literally my whole life, including the projects and goals I pursued year after year. And then the next reason is that I've been noticing that the linen covers get dirty after a few months. Um, this is true as well with other notebooks, I notice that they get dirty after a while. I probably shouldn't mind, but I would also want a more durable and robust cover that can handle the elements. The fourth reason is actually one of my biggest pet peeves, having to write and rewrite um, some of my long-term collections every time I move into a new notebook. And in most cases, I want to refer to the same collection for at least the entire year because I'm either building up on that list or updating my progress according to that list. But having to transfer collections or part of them was getting really tedious for me. Reason number five is that it's getting difficult to find things in old notebooks. <laughs> and I know that that is actually the purpose of the index. And I actually do create an index. But that also means that I have to read through entire lists of index for all of the notebooks to find what I'm actually looking for. The sixth reason is that I actually find continuity difficult when planning my goals. So because my yearly goals and the corresponding goal planning and implementation planning are spread out across three notebooks, I will have to frequently flip back to the much earlier pages or even earlier notebooks to check or update if I'm still on track. Which brings me to my next reason, which is that I officially want to move towards quarterly or 12-week year planning from here on. And I actually have a video on goal planning based off the concepts of the 12-week year, which you can check out in the link above. So moving forward into 2021, I want an even clearer and structured goal planning and implementation system for every quarter. And I want them all in one place instead of spread out across notebooks or even spread out across many pages with a lot of stuff in between. And then the next reason is that I also want to see all of my long-term projects in one place in terms of the contents. Again, this makes things easier to find and to improve continuity of specific goals, plans, and tasks for those projects as opposed to, again, uh, having to search for it in the index and across many notebooks. And if you're wondering why I don't just keep separate notebooks for those, I actually really really prefer to just keep one notebook with me at all times which I will bring and use everywhere because my bullet journal is basically my whole life and I need access to different areas of my life anytime and anywhere. And that leads to my final reason which is I would ultimately want to archive my notebooks according to all of these different themes including quarterly planning, long-term projects, and long-term collections so that it becomes much, much easier to find information. So in my new system, you will notice that I have moved into a traveler notebook style of bullet journal and that is because I wanted four separate notebooks or inserts for the four different themes or categories of my life which I will always want to have on hand. 
So the first insert or notebook is for long-term collections. So this will include like all of my lists of things to check out, like books to read, recipes to try, restaurants to check out, and basically all the things that will still be consistent or still remain consistent throughout the whole year or even across many years. And then the second uh, insert or notebook is the most important one is basically my quarterly planning or 12 week year planning system. So this particular insert has uh, extra pages. Um, it has 40 pages, which is enough for 12 weeklies. So basically my main bullet journal system will be here in terms of planning. And again, as I mentioned, I will be using quarterly goal planning um, according to the concepts of the 12 week year. So all of my monthlies will be here, all of my weeklies will be here, and they will be enough for three months or one quarter, plus enough sheets for notes. And then the third and fourth notebooks or inserts are for two of my long-term projects. The first one is for my YouTube channel or my brand, which is Bulletproof Journals. And the second one is really my passion project. So um, for both of these notebooks, uh, I will indicate their own respective goals, the specific projects, tasks, trackers, separate vision boards, and basically all of the things and uh, content pertaining to each of these long-term projects. And all of the four notebooks have their own theme color. Um, so for example, this one could revolve around the color green, but then it could be different shades of green as I use um, more notebooks so that when I complete one notebook and archive it, then they will look really nice and cohesive having all of these different shades of greens or even patterns of greens in one place. And all four notebooks will also get their own index so that when I look through my archives, it'll be very easy to find literally anything because I will just have to pull out the specific categories and then check out the index for the respective notebooks. So in terms of the actual materials that I've used for this notebook, for the cover, it actually took me a while to find the perfect one because I wanted something that still looked like a bound notebook and not really a traveler's notebook. So I found this German brand called X17, which is the closest to what I was looking for. So you can see it really has that bound notebook look, but with a much durable cover. So this particular cover is leather in the color cognac, but they also have other material options as well and other color options. But the reason why I chose this product is because it has a 17 year guarantee for any cracks or breaks. So this is probably as durable of a cover as I can find. And also I like that it sort of lays flat, flat ish once you train it a bit, unlike other traveler notebook covers. I also like that these rubber bands hold the inserts inside really, really securely. So it never actually feels loose. And also, of course, you get this really cool look at the spine of the book. As for the inserts, again, I tried to find the perfect inserts, but ultimately I decided to just make them myself. So the reason being is because I'm very particular about the paper, the thickness of the paper, the dots, as in the size, color, and spacing of the dots, the margins, and all of those things. So the closest I could find that could match all of these criteria are actually sold on Etsy, which I realized um, could also be quite expensive, especially if I included the shipping costs. So I figured if I learned to make these inserts myself, um, not only can I customize them to my exact specifications, I will ultimately save money because all I literally have to do is print and bind inserts whenever I want. And since my cover theoretically will last me 17 years, my only cost will be the paper, um, the cardstock for the cover, which you could also choose whatever pattern or color you like, or even recycle some old cardstock or paper. As for the printing costs, it's also not much because it requires very, very minimal ink because technically all you are printing is tiny dots on the sheet. As for this dot grid uh, template that I used for printing, I followed along a tutorial uh, that uses Google Sheets to make the template. Yeah, that's right, you heard Google Sheets. I linked the tutorial for you below if you'd like to check it out. And yes, it is that simple. I didn't even need to buy this template and I was able to customize literally everything, the dot size, 
um, and spacing the color of the dots the margins and i even added like uh this thicker dot at the middle marks of both the top and the sides of the page so i can easily divide um, my spreads into halves initially i was worried about the alignment of the dots from the left uh, page to the right page but after a few trial and errors and making sure my printer is actually calibrated i think i finally got it down pat i mean look at how aligned that is i cannot believe it so overall i just love 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 my new bullet journal i'm not even exaggerating and uh, after using the system the notebook in the system for two weeks now i have to say that um it has to be my favorite bullet journal so far in terms of um the system and also the quality of the product <laughs> which is why i'm kind of mind blown by the fact that i actually made this i think if i could make it like literally anyone can make it it's not in don't find it intimidating and it also ended up so cheap to make the entire thing uh, except for the cover of course but it's up to you what cover you'd like to use and you could even make your own cover if you want so because it's so cheap and i could easily make it and make new inserts as many inserts as i want i really don't feel guilty about wasting paper or using as many sheets that i want because it's not expensive and by the way if you want a more detailed tutorial explaining exactly how i made these notebooks um let me know in the comments below but in the next video i'm gonna share with you how i'm gonna index each of my four um, notebooks um, because i have a few unique index ideas or ways to organize content uh, in the bullet journal so if you want to stay tuned for that then please like and subscribe and i'll see you later take care everyone